Easy Muck Coins provide safe Madden 22 coins and they have the cheapest prices among all the sites. It's the trusted website. Please use my code GS to enjoy 5% off and make sure you follow their official Twitter at Easy Mutt one for coin giveaways and more. What up, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy GS. Welcome back to another Madden 22 video. Hopefully you guys are doing fantastic. So as you guys can see from the title, we went ahead and changed a lot. Mostly... It being defensively. Offensively, though, we did pick up today's newest superstar addition in Saquon Barkley. We take a look at him compared to LaDainian Tomlinson. Uh, 89 speed, 89 excel, 90 agility, 87 carry, 74 catching, 89 change of direction, 81 truck with a break tackle of 88. Now, both of them are extremely similar. LaDainian Tomlinson having a speed of plus one but one thing you know for sure is that Saquon is going to get items throughout the year to be able to upgrade and upgrade and upgrade and upgrade but because he got one today might be a while before he gets a new one but eventually he's going to get a new one I'm um, not sure if I'm gonna keep this guy I just wanted to go ahead and try him out he's a little expensive going for like 250k right now or something like that so I actually might just return him after the game but we'll see we'll see um, I haven't really been in any situation yet this year where LaDainian Tomlinson was gassed and I had to put in like one of the gold cards that had two Bronco gold cards behind him. So, so far, so good. Haven't really need to, you know, be worried about having a second running back. On top of that, I still have my 88 overall uh, power up pass, which I'm thinking about just putting it on Derrick Henry and he could be a backup if I wanted a second running back. But, you know, we're going to see how Saquon Barkley is. He looks very, 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 very good, and you know, uh, we'll see exactly uh, what we can do with them. Looking to have a gameplay for you guys a little later on today. Defensively, though, this is where we changed a lot of things, and I mean, we changed quite a bit. You know, there's a lot of things I want to go on ahead and have. It's gonna cost a lot of training, but hopefully, I'm able to go on ahead and get that and uh, you know, fulfill the vision that I had. So, last year. I ran a cover four scheme with two El Toros on the D-line and mid-zone KOs everywhere. And I kind of want to have that same similar defense. Mid-zone KO is just still very good, uh, even though it may not jar the ball loose because the ball may, you know, surpass the uh, yard cap that it has. But it still lights up on every zone. They react quicker. As soon as the quarterback drops back, that arm is ready to throw the ball the CPU just starts reacting. You get quicker reactions out of your mid-zone guys. The only problem is that there's not a lot of high-zone guys that can get mid-zone KO that have really good speed. Th there lies the issue, right? Because there's no good, there's no cornerback that's a zone archetype that's higher than 84 overall. It just doesn't exist. 84 overall is your highest zone cornerback. And that's an issue because man-to-man -man guys, they get mid zone if their zone is high enough but they get it for two ap instead of one so that you know could be a little bit of an issue but we're gonna try and work past it so some of the changes are demarcus Ware. we just got rid of him uh he's a speed rusher he gets el toro for three i need it for two and unfortunately he can't provide that but because he's a bronco i just powered him all the way down to the very um to tier one and I sold his uh, 89 overall and um, got rid of him because, again, only power rushers get El Toro for two. So we went ahead and just powered up Michael Strahan. Well, he's, we already had him powered up. But we went ahead and activated him with El Toro for now. Von Miller and him as well. Both of those guys have El Toro because they're power rushers and they get it for two a pop. We went ahead and I still have Simmons. Actually, we're going to get rid of uh, PJ Locke here. We still have Simmons, and I'm looking to um, power Simmons up. I'm just a little bit training away, unfortunately. I'm very close to being able to finish, but I'm a couple hundred training off, and training is very, 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 very expensive. Uh, but he's his own guy that can get it for one. We got Minka Fitzpatrick, the new flashback that just came out. He's his own archetype, fantastic speed. He's able to go on ahead and get mid zone KO for one. And again, not only that, he's fast. He can cover a lot of ground. Tremendous speed going back and forth. High zone. You know, okay man for this point of the year. And uh, you know, 
hopefully we can uh, see a big difference with you know a lot more speed out there so we went ahead and picked up marlon humphreys as well because marlon humphreys is one of the few guys again that can get mid as a corner there's just not that many available guys that can get it marlon humphreys is one of them now i keep saying humphreys when it's humphrey uh you know good speed 89 i do have a a strategy card that gives all dbs plus one speed so that's why you see a speed boost on him up to 89. Uh, tremendous man coverage. Pretty good zone. 90 press. Six foot. And again, he's able to get mid zone. Unfortunately, he gets it for two, but he does get it, though. That's the important thing. He's actually able to get it. Xavier Howard is another one we picked up. I think there's only like four cornerbacks in the game right now that can get mid zone KO. I think it's Darrell Revis. Uh, Marlon Humphrey, um, there's like a, a few other, and Xavier Howard is one of the few. There, there's really not many yet. You know, there, there's not many yet, especially with the zone archetypes being so shallow. Um, like JC Jackson, unfortunately, doesn't get it. Neither does, um, you know, the other guys that I had. So we got rid of those guys. So the plan, again, is to try and recreate that defense you know, have a cover four, and if I'm having trouble in a cover four, you know, we'll switch to a man defense, we'll call some blitz and things like that, but we want to have a, a nice base of a cover four, cover three look, you know, sometimes I'll play some cover sixes, maybe a cover nine, just, uh, you know, a, a lot of zones, a lot of zones that, you know, with a lot of mid-zone KOs can create havoc, and with some El Toros on the line, we can, you know, for some quick passes, it's just going to, you know, require a lot of training. A lot, a lot, a lot of training. But hopefully, you know, we will get there. So um, hopefully this weekend they drop some some zone guys that can help us, you know, like maybe one more zone safety. Like I would trade in for sure um, all worth for Lynch. And last I looked, we don't have a captain exchange yet because lynch is run support and run support guys they get mid zone ko for one which would be pretty good which definitely would be helpful but for now you know this is the changes you know that we made and uh you know i think marlon humphreys fitzpatrick is definitely an upgrade to the squadron and hopefully they can you know create a, a big impact on the team so um you know again a lot of just a lot of training there's a lot of training that i'm behind to do a lot of things like I want to get the new Tyron Smith that came out the new left tackle I want to power Kittle up all the way I'm missing a speed on him but again having trouble with the training and training is just going to be the the death of me like oh if, if it wasn't for training I could it would just be so much easier to get people but unfortunately uh you know training is uh is, is quite 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 expensive but you know nonetheless there's definitely uh, a lot of things we want to do, you know, with the squad. So, you know, little by little, we'll start chipping away at everything it is that we want to do. And hopefully we can uh, get the team to where, you know, we want to. Which right now, I'm very, very happy with, you know, the squad that we have. I definitely feel like offensively, defensively, we have everything it is I need to be successful. It's just abilities with that I need done. You know, like I don't have a lot of abilities because, again training so right now i have four out of 12 on offense i have i have most offense i have 10 out of 12 here so that's that's not bad i actually would like to secure protectors but you can't do it to bakhtari or Worfs because you know they need to be powered up but with the new tyron um that came out today we can possibly put him at left tackle and if i powered up um worfs you know i should be able to get those guys or maybe i just go backfield master on a running back or something like that you know who knows i, I just know eventually though um i'm gonna want all the abilities done that's pretty much the only thing that we're missing hopefully we get that uh done soon so hopefully you guys are looking forward to the gameplay a little later with that saquon barkley he looks really good the defense is a work in progress man but i'm excited to have uh humphrey and Fitzpatrick out on the squad. I think they're going to be able to uh, make some plays. See you boys. Yes, we're going to go ahead and be signing out, fellas. Appreciate the love and support as always. Until next time. Peace.